I'm Nicole Russell, PDGA number 88131, member of the Prodigy Street Team, and this is my In The Bag. That didn't go quite as smoothly as I hoped. I can do this. I really can. Okay, first I would like to talk to you about my putting putters, the 300 plastic PA3. Um, these are nice, they're swirly purple, they have little rainbow airborne stamps on the bottom. Um, I have been putting with PA3s for a really long time and I like them, they're reliably stable, comfortable in the hand. Um, they have a bead, so if you're not into that, they're not great for you. Um, but the 300 plastic PA3, I'm super into it. Um, next is, um, I'll move on to my throwing cutters. Um, the first is a Euro stamped PA3. I use this for um, all of my, pretty much all of my turnover Anheuser shots or putter hyzer flips to turn over um, pretty much 200 feet and in. Um, I really like it, it's really beat in, so it's really flippy. Um, my go-to throwing putter um, is the PA1. Um, I bag two. Um, the first one is um, a 300 plastic PA1. I use this for a lot, most of my straight putter shots. Again, like anything 200, 220 feet or less. Um, and I can also dump it on a hyzer and it finishes on a hyzer. It's reliably overstable. Um, I also bag um, a 400 plastic PA1, um, which is essentially I, it just holds its stability longer so it's more reliably overstable than my straight, my straight 300 PA1. Um, next I bag two A-series discs. Um, I'm a little unconventional in this in that both of the A-series discs I bag are about 150, 155 grams. Um, the first I bag is a Weiserl stamped A2. A shout out to my boy Alex Sakash who happens to be filming this. Um, I use this um, for straight to really overstable backhand shots and I also really like it. I'm not a huge forehander, um, but I use it for straight to hyzer finish forehand approach shots. Um, I also bag um, a super old school 350 plastic 155 gram A1. This thing is a super beef cake. I use it to get out of the woods on hyzer. Um, I use it for hyzer dump forehands. Um, it's a super awesome utility disc. Um, it's one of my favorites in my bag. Got that from me too. I also got this from Alex. <laughs> the next, uh, move on to my mid-ranges. Um, the M4 is one of my favorite discs ever. I bag this really flippy um, 400 plastic uh, Spectrum M4. Um, I really like this disc. I can throw it on a hyzer flip, it's gonna stand up, finish right, it's never coming back. It's really understable. Um, I mentioned I'm not much of a forehander, so I rely a lot on this really flippy backhand type stuff. Um, my other M4 is a prototype mac and cheese M4. This one is a lot more overstable than my Spectrum M4. Um, I can let it go on a hyzer flip, it's gonna stand up, it's gonna ride right, but it's gonna finish straight. Um, and at low enough speed, it's still going to finish left. Um, so yeah. Um, the next mid-range I bag is an MX3, Spectrum MX3. Um, I use this for pretty much anything that the M4 is not overstable enough for. Um, I rely a ton on the mac and cheese M4, um, but sometimes I, if it's really windy or if the shot just calls for more hyzer than I can get out of the M4, I throw the MX3. Um, moving on to fairways. Uh, the only fairway I bag is the F5. Um, I bag, I'm a big fan of throwing the same disc in different weights. Um, provide some variable stability and some really familiar hand feel, which I really like a lot. Um, so the first fairway I drive is 166 gram F5. Um, I throw this um, for any really flippy fairway shot. Um, 
I used to bag the F7, but it was really finicky for me and it was really hard for me to get consistent flight out of it. Um, so I switched to the F5 and I also um, throw this on a hyzer flip. It's gonna stand up, it's gonna move right, and it's not really gonna come back. Um, I also bag a Maxway F5. Um, and this I throw the same way, hyzer flip, stand up. Um, and at slow enough arm speed, it's still gonna finish left. I haven't found that I really need a fairway driver that's more of a stable than the F5. Um, and then I bag um, the H4 V2. Um, I... Slower, you wanna be slow at oh. this. Get... Slow is not really a thing I do well, I'm Same. sorry. This disc is pretty new to my bag. Um, but I throw it for essentially all of those shots that the F5 is just not quite enough disc. Um, if ever I'm looking to get 30 or 40 more feet on kind of a hyzer flip to straight shot, the H4 V2 um, is definitely what I'm, what I'm looking for. Um, I also do sometimes forehand this, um, and I find that it's gonna just flip, stand up, and just kind of ride straight and finish hyzer. I don't for, forehand with a lot of arm speed. It's just kind of get where you need to go, it's good enough. Um, the other H series I bag um, is a 162 gram old school H1. Um, this is also pretty new to my bag. I'm, I'm a big fan of it because it doesn't have a lot of glide. Um, I throw it also on forehands. I like it for big, like flex forehand type. Get out. It's another kind of get out of jail disc for me. Um, it works well, it doesn't have a lot of glide, it's gonna find the ground, it's just kinda gonna get where I need it to go and not go anywhere else. Um, and is very, very, very overstable. Um, next, moving on to my distance drivers. Um, I bag a 170 gram D4. Um, this I use for any distance driver shot that I need some reliable under stability. It's gonna, out of my hand, it's gonna wanna move right and it's gonna hold that right for a really long time. Um, maybe at slow enough speed, finish straight or left, but for the most part, it's really beat in, it's not coming back. Um, next, um, I currently bag this D3. Um, the D3 is really new to me. Um, I've been a huge fan of D1s for a really long time um, and was kind of looking for something between the D1 and the D4. Um, I don't even want this in there. And then, aside from the D4, the only distance drivers I currently bag are all D1s. Um, like I said before, I'm a big fan of bagging the same disc in different weights, um, and that's worked really well for me. It has familiar hand feel. I know what I'm getting into, um, and I really like the D1 for its reliable overstability. Um, so the first D1 I throw is 159 gram Japan Open D1. Um, this is my really like go-to Nash disc. I throw this for max distance. Um, because it's so lightweight, it is gonna turn over out of my hand and it's gonna ride that turn for a really long time. Um, but then because it's a D1, it's still gonna have that reliable left finish. So Japan Open D1. Um, I've, yeah, I've, I've been bagging this for a long time. I really, really, really love it. Um, the next D1 in my bag is this 160 gram D1. This is pretty new to my bag, um, and for whatever reason, this gray run happens to be a lot more overstable than a lot of other runs I've thrown. Um, but I throw this for similar shots, but where my Japan Open D1 is gonna ride straight or to the right for a long time and hold that flex line, this is gonna wanna fight out of that way faster. Um, so I throw this for things, and it's also going to finish further left. So I throw things for where the Japan Open D1 is just not quite enough. I want a little bit more over stability and more reliable finish. Um, the next D1 I throw is um, this 165 gram Hotlanta D1. Um, one of my buddies gave this to me a long time ago, um, and I really, really like it. Yeah, this actually flies really similarly to that gray D1. Um, it's just been in my bag for a long time. I think I'm probably currently in the process of figuring which one of those discs is going to make the bag because they have really similar flight patterns. Um, 
And the final D1 in my bag is this um, heavier, like 172 gram D1. This is actually the first Prodigy disc I ever bought, um, which is funny. Um, but this is your really stereotypical D1. I'm gonna throw it flat um, and it is going to fly. It's not gonna have a lot of turn. It's gonna be reliably overstable. It's gonna have a hard left finish. I throw this on big, like straight to hyzer shots, big sky hyzer type stuff. Um, that's what this D1 is in my bag for. Um, all right, everybody, thanks for watching. Um, and that is my uh, Prodigy disc in the bag.